What do you think of my buns? <laughs> oh, pardon. <laughs> Another day, another dinner date. And tonight is with mental health PhD student Briar. I once had a date where he talked for like two hours about getting a wardrobe measured up for fitting. I'm not r really that interested in your wardrobe, mate. My friends would describe me as very energetic, I'm very clumsy, and when I'm on a date, I probably talk way too much. I tend to always end up with the same sort of like artsy, go with an earring who plays guitar and is really laid back. Briar kicks off with the hummus for her starter. <laughs> That's if she can get the blender open. I need a man to help me open things, clearly. Nah, just give it a bit of woman power welly. I've done it. I don't need a man after all. Too right, sister. The best case scenario would be if he's Really chatty, good sense of humour, no, like, awkward small talk. I don't think we'd have that much in common if they were, like, very old-fashioned and to the book, because I'm a little bit out there. <laughs> I'm not very good at following the recipe. Like, I don't like being told what to do. It's a bun recipe, not a military dictatorship. But by the look of things, you should have done what you're told. Oh, no. This is going everywhere. The sticky mix goes into the baking tin. I've got a little bit of a thing for pugs. We've got pug mugs. We've got, yeah, our pug apron. We've got a pug plug. Don't have an actual pug, sadly, but um, I've got a lovely cat instead. All that's left is to check on her buns. Chiseling away at my buns, chiseled buns. Let's hope he's got a strong jaw. I'm eager beaver, looking more for someone who's more aligned with what I like. It's absolutely Hank Marvin. I only had a banana today, so, yeah, ready to munch, to munch these three courses up. Hello. Hello. Hi, hi, come in. Hi. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice wow, you. wonderful. Thank you so much. Nick. Hi, Nick, I'm Briar. Thank you. Are. No worries. So you've got a cat, it's first not... thing I noticed. Oh, yeah, the litter tray as you walk in. It's not the best nah, I'm of I love cats. I love but, cats. Uh, yeah, I don't know if she's going to come down and say hi. She's quite shy. Oh. What do you yeah. do for what's what's oh, work? Oh yeah, so I am a mental health nurse. Oh wow! But cool. I'm just about to start a PhD, so wow, going back to studying. Seems really genuine. Quite banterous, to be fair, already. So let's see how it goes. Looking forward to the blooming avocado burger. I think Nick seems funny. It's not my usual type. It's a bit more like lads, lads, but that's quite nice. I like that too. So yeah, we'll see. She's about to serve up her starter. Veggie skewers with homemade <laughs> hummus. <you>. Whoa, man! <laughs> yeah, not the easiest thing to eat. <laughs> Damn well messy anyway. I'm definitely a messy cooker as well. You're saying you're clumsy, right? Mm. Same, proper. Are you? Yeah, badly clumsy. No, look at that. <laughs> oh, flip it over, he'll never notice. So this was my attempt at making homemade bread rolls. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to try why not? some if you want. Yeah, why not? What's the verdict? <sighs> what do you think of my buns? <laughs> oh, pardon. <laughs> no comment. So you know those public toilets, which like the doors. Oh, like on the train. The... Yeah. So this was in Paris. There was like this big long queue to get into like the catacombs, and I must have like just pressed the wrong button, and then the doors just right in the middle of this really busy street in Paris, and I'm like, oh, Mickey. So that was God. pretty embarrassing. What did you do? Well, like, you can't stop once you started. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much for coming. No, thank you for having me, and thank you for the, the lovely food. Great evening. Take care. All right, bye. See ya. Bri is very, very pretty. Definitely has got some good banter, good person. So, yeah, ticking definitely a lot of the key boxes. What did I think of those buns again? Yeah, they were a bit of a disaster. I had a great day with Nick. He was really sweet, really funny. He had some, like, deep chats as well. I thought Nick was a really lovely, genuine guy. So for that reason, I'm going to give Nick a two out of three stars. So that's two stars for Nick from Briar. She thought he was funny and liked their deep chats, though her buns were a total disaster. But she ticked a lot of Nick's boxes, so when it comes to another date, will he ask her?